A very important seat is up for grabs this election year, North Dakota Governor. Nikaya Carrero spoke with Michael Coachman, a Republican candidate whose name you will see on the primary election ballot out of Grand Forks. Governor Doug Burgum has an opponent in the upcoming primary election. Michael Coachman is a U.S. Air Force veteran who served for 20 years, and he says the side of the aisle he sits on is just an affiliation. I was never raised a Democrat. I was never raised uh, really Republican at all. But I did when I looked at the Republican platform and say, hey, this is what I believe, this is where I stand, and said I like this. He previously ran for two positions in the state, Lieutenant Governor in 2012 and Secretary of State in 2018. Coachman says he's the underdog, but that someone needs to run against Governor Burgum. Why I'm running against him, I don't think he's looking out for the state of North Dakota. I'm not, I believe he's not looking out for the people. And I believe this COVID-19 really shows that. Coachman says he believes in the Constitution and says decisions made by the government should be for the people, by the people. I think within a short time, they would say, you know what, let's make some smart laws for the people. Because what's the use of rightness if it's going to be vetoed or red light? They already know that from the very beginning. If it's going to violate the state constitution or the U.S. Constitution, it's not going to pass my desk. Coachman's choice for lieutenant governor is Joel Hilden of Park River. Reporting for KX News in Bismarck, I'm Nakaya Carrero. A statement from Governor Burgum's campaign office reads, Governor Burgum is running for re-election to build on the foundation that Lieutenant Governor Brent Sanford, First Lady Catherine Burgum, and he set in their first term alongside the entire Burgum administration. Governor Burgum and all of Team ND are ready to lead North Dakota through the coronavirus pandemic and continue to strengthen the economy, reinvent government, and invest in the future of our state.